Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla is preparing to enter Thailand market with its EVs, batteries, and solar. Tesla delivers megapacks to new Bitcoin mining facility. Tesla Battery Research Group unveils paper on new high-energy density battery that could last 100 years. And, Tesla is delaying deliveries due to missing charge port ECUs. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla has filed to enter Thailand as its latest market expansion. Interestingly, it plans to sell not only its electric vehicles, but also its batteries and solar products. It has been a little while since Tesla has expanded into a brand new market. The company was trying hard to enter the Indian market for years, but the effort was put on hold earlier this month. It looks like Tesla has now turned its attention to Thailand. Tesla has filed to register its product for sale in Thailand, according to a new filing that has been going around social media. While Tesla hasn't officially entered the country yet, there are already quite a few Tesla vehicles in Thailand. They have been imported privately by the owners, and that's a factor that Tesla takes into account when considering entering a new market. If many people are willing to go through the trouble of importing the vehicle, there's a good chance that there's a market for its vehicles in the country. There were reports on the Thai police buying a fleet of Tesla Model 3 vehicles for police patrol back in 2020. The Thai auto market is more significant than most people would think. Over 750,000 cars were sold in the market last year, and it is expected to ramp up to 800,000 to 900,000 this year. However, most of those vehicles are not in the same price range as Tesla vehicles. Thailand would be the first Southeast Asian country where Tesla would officially sell its vehicles. Tesla's map still doesn't show any planned service centers or superchargers, which are generally the first sign of the company entering a new market. Interestingly, Tesla has also registered in Thailand to sell its solar and battery products, which have been limited to the US for the most part. We can expect an update from Tesla soon regarding this matter. Moving to the next update, Tesla delivers megapacks to new Bitcoin mining facility. Tesla has delivered four megapacks to a giant new Bitcoin mining facility in Texas that is going to be the first to be powered by the automaker's solar and batteries. Last month, the project was announced as a partnership between Tesla, Blockstream, and Jack Dorsey's Blocks formerly known by Square. The idea is to build a new 30 petahashes per second open-source Bitcoin mining facility powered by a 3.8 megawatt solar farm and 12 megawatt hour megapack system provided by Tesla. Blockstream raised approximately $40 million for the project through a token, which enables people to technically invest in the Bitcoin mining operation powered by Tesla megapacks and solar by trading the token on Bitfinex. The project is moving quickly, as Tesla has now delivered the four megapacks to the mining facility. Tesla's involvement in the project is also interesting within the context of the company adopting the cryptocurrency in its own business. Early in 2021, Tesla invested $1.5 billion in Bitcoin. Shortly after, the automaker started accepting the cryptocurrency as payment on its new vehicles. However, a few days later, Tesla took a step back with crypto by removing the Bitcoin payment option. The company noted concerns over the energy needs of the Bitcoin network. Tesla has suspended vehicle purchases using Bitcoin. We are concerned about rapidly increasing use of fossil fuels for Bitcoin mining and transactions, especially coal, which has the worst emissions of any fuel, Tesla said. This is a concern that many Tesla community members shared when Tesla first announced its Bitcoin investment, and many were angered by the fact that the company didn't think about it in the first place. At the time, Tesla noted that they were not selling their stake in Bitcoin and that they plan to resume taking Bitcoin payments once the network shows a higher mix of renewable energy. Last summer, CEO Elon Musk said that he believes Tesla will resume taking Bitcoin payment as he sees improvements in the energy mix of Bitcoin mining. That has yet to happen, but Tesla is now directly involved 
in helping power Bitcoin mining with clean energy through this project in Texas. Moving to the next update, Tesla Battery Research Group unveils paper on new high-energy density battery that could last 100 years. Tesla's Advanced Battery Research Group in Canada, in partnership with Dalhousie University, has released a new paper on a new nickel-based battery that could last 100 years while still favorably comparing to LFP cells on charging and energy density. Back in 2016, Tesla established its Tesla Advanced Battery Research in Canada through a partnership with Jeff Don's Battery Lab at Dalhousie University in Halifax, Canada. Don is considered a pioneer in Li-ion battery cells. He has been working on the Li-ion batteries pretty much since they were invented. He is credited for helping to increase the life cycle of the cells, which helped their commercialization. His work now focuses mainly on a potential increase in energy density and durability, while also decreasing the cost. The group has already produced quite a few patents and papers on batteries for Tesla. The automaker recently extended its contract with the group through 2026 as it added two new leaders to be mentored by Don. One of those new leaders, Michael Metzger, along with Don himself and a handful of PhDs in the program, are named as authors of a new research paper in the Journal of the Electrochemical Society. The paper describes a nickel-based battery chemistry meant to compete with LFP battery cells on longevity while retaining the properties that people like in nickel-based batteries, like higher energy density, which enables longer range with fewer batteries for electric vehicles. The cells showed an impressive capacity retention over a high number of cycles. The research group even noted that the new cell described in the paper could last a 100 years if the temperature is controlled at 25 degrees Celsius. One of the keys appears to be using an electrolyte with LIFSI lithium salts, and the paper notes that the benefits could also apply to other nickel-based chemistries, including those with no or low cobalt. This is surely a great innovation and will help Tesla significantly. Moving to the last update, Tesla delaying deliveries due to missing charge port ECUs. Tesla appears to be suffering from another supply chain issue, this time to do with the charge port ECU that has resulted in the automaker delaying hundreds or potentially even thousands of deliveries. The problem appears to have started in late March when according to several reports posted to the TMC forums customers who were expecting to receive their new car within days were being told it was instead being pushed back without any explanation. A change to an estimated delivery date is not uncommon, but these customers had already been assigned a VIN. Furthermore, several have been able to go to their local delivery center and see their vehicle sitting on the lot with a piece of white tape over the charge port. After some pressing from frustrated customers, delivery advisors said the cars were built and shipped without charge port ECUs and the deliveries are on hold until the parts arrive. Making the matter worse, some customers have already paid in full for their new car, while others are already paying on a loan for a car they don't have yet. One TMC forum member took out a third-party loan with a low interest rate that was going to expire on May 12, 2022. When he received his VIN on April 28 and not wanting to pay a higher interest rate, he decided to fund the loan, not knowing he would still be without the car nearly a month later. It has now been nearly two months since the first report of a delivery delay due to a missing charge port ECU came in. Some delivery advisors are saying the necessary parts will arrive by the end of the month, while others are saying there is still no time frame, so it is still anyone's guess as to when these customers will be able to drive off in their new cars. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.